Hi everybody! This is a brand new colouring tutorial video. Um, so I always start these off by saying I'm not an expert. Um, there are many people on the internet that can colour a lot better than I can. Um, my skills somewhat lie in the drawing of the pictures, but you know I wanted to share with you what I do and hopefully it'll inspire you to try some new techniques or some new different colouring pencils um, and to hopefully um, make your colouring experience even better. So today we're going to be colouring from Lost Ocean, my newest book, and by the magic of television, this one. He's currently coloured in, I know what you're thinking, but you know, he started off a bit more like this. Um, but we're going to colour on this little guy and we're going to work on gradients. So you will need your colouring pencils, of course, a, a blank sheet of paper. Once again, pop this behind the sheet that you're working on just to stop any indentation and like transfer of black. Um, but I think the main thing to speak about today is that we're going to be working on gradients, you know, how you make dark to light and one colour blend into the next. Um, some people use things like um, blending pencils or baby oil to sort of move the colour about on the page. I'm not doing any of that in this video, I'm just going to do pencil on paper and, and use the pressure um, to do those effects. I would say you can also get um, erasers where you sort of lightly lift off the colouring pencil that you've already put down to make, you know, white highlights. For me, I'm not a big fan of them. I think um, colouring pencil is just inherently difficult to lift off. So once it's down, you know, you kind of just need to work with it. So um, I'm not going to use one of them. Um, but yeah, here we go. Let's Let's get stuck in. So this is my little jellyfish and once again I'm going to pick out my colour and pencils that I'm going to use for this palette. We're going to go pinky, orangey, purple because you know that's the dream combo. Um, and I'm going to start at the top and work down. And I want this jellyfish to kind of have I guess a translucent feel to it, quite light. So I'm going to press very hard in some areas and then fade or lift out to white in other areas. And in some places there's just going to be white, you know, I think that sometimes a bit of white paper or blank space can often um, be just as important as all those colours that you lay down. So I'm going to um, put darker areas in some places to kind of show a bit of shape as well, I guess. Um, so in these sort of scalloped bits, the idea is that it would be dark near the black outline and lift to white. Um, when I'm colouring, I kind of use a funny stroke. I sort of go round and round as opposed to, you know, like hard pencil strokes. And I feel this puts the colour down in a way that's a little bit lighter and easier to move around. And you don't usually see um, the actual pencil strokes, which I like. Um, as I work the way down the jellyfish, I'm going to leave a bit more white. And when I get to the tentacles at the bottom, I want them to be super dark at the bottom of that frill so it almost looks like you know they're very dark where they disappear up underneath the jellyfish but they are going to uh, lighten out to white you know towards the ends of those tentacles um, where they're disappearing into the ocean. So that's it, that's how um, I colour in my little jellyfish. Uh, I hope maybe that's given you some inspiration or maybe a couple of new techniques that you want to use in your colouring. Um, but with everything, you know, like it's not, there's no hard and fast rules, you know, however you choose to do it is the right way. There are no wrong colours, it doesn't matter if you go over the lines, it's all about just expressing yourself and being creative. So with that in mind, don't forget to share your pictures online. I love to see them on social media or you can upload them to the colouring gallery on my website. I'll put um, a link in the bit below. Um, and that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.